Throughout the Second World War, there were countless war crimes that were carried out by the Japanese army. There were even two officers who had a contest to see who could execute 100 people the quickest, using a sword, and the media reported it almost like a sports match. There were wide-scale atrocities committed inside Chinese cities such as Nanking, in which thousands of people were executed. But many Allied soldiers who found themselves captured by the Japanese also suffered. For example, many prisoners were forced to conduct death marches. But there was a forgotten element of torture which was used by the Japanese, and these were known as the Hell Ships. These were terrifying and brutal boats that were used to transport prisoners of war, but what happened on board was brutal and barbaric. But what is the story of the torture of the Japanese Hell Ships? Join us today as we look at this, and to support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. The word or term Hell Ship was used by the Americans to describe the horrific treatment that they suffered to begin with, at the hands of the British on board their boats during the American Revolution. 11,000 soldiers from the States who would not support the British died on board these ships, but during the Second World War, hell ships were used to transport prisoners and forced labourers to different places under Japanese control. It's been estimated that over 130 Japanese hell ships transported around 126,000 prisoners of war from Allied countries, and things were very tough. The Japanese would use forced labour, and these ships would transport workers from one place to another. There were some ships which were targeted by the British, but the Germans would also use hell ships to transport a number of prisoners, who were also picked up following being sunk. The conditions on board the boats were horrific. Japanese troops herded hundreds of people into the ships, and things were very overcrowded. Many of these boats also carried supplies and weapons. One man described the ships and said, We threw our packs into the deep hold and quickly followed down the long ladder into the darkness, herded by the guards and their bayonets. The prisoners had been so crowded in these other holds, they couldn't get the air to breathe. They went crazy, cut and bit each other through the arms and legs, and sucked their blood. In order to keep from being murdered, many had to climb the ladders and were promptly shot by the guards. Between 20 and 30 prisoners had died from suffocation or were murdered during the night. The cargo holds where the prisoners were stuffed into were horrific and there was little air and ventilation and on the journeys many people would die from suffocation. There was also a significant lack of food and water and because of this many people died from starvation and diseases on board were rife with prisoners getting dysentery often. There was also a significant amount of heat and humidity inside the Pacific making conditions even worse. But there was on the ships a mixture of prisoners of war, but also regular Japanese forces and cargo, and because of this the ships were not marked as safe, and because of this there were a number of Japanese vessels that were attacked and were hit by torpedoes and other shells. Because of this it's believed that more than 20,000 Allied prisoners of war died whilst on board transport ships after they were attacked. One of the largest attacks on these ships occurred on the 24th of October 1944, when the vessel, the Arasan Maru, was transporting 1,781 American and Allied military and civilian prisoners of war. It was hit by a submarine from the USS Shark or the USS Snook, and it would sink two hours later. But no prisoners of war were killed by the initial torpedo strikes, and they were able to get from the ship's hold, but the Japanese did not rescue any of them from the sea. On board the ship, only nine prisoners survived the attack, and four would escape. Further attacks on vessels took place, as did further deaths inside of the holes. The Oroyuku Maru was transporting 1,620 survivors of the Bataan Death March and other battles, as well as 1,900 Japanese civilians and military members. After setting off from Manila on the 13th of December 1944, it was then strafed and bombed by American aircraft. It was attacked by US naval planes, and it then sank on the 15th of December and around 270 people died on board. It was said, many men lost their minds and crawled about in the absolute darkness, armed with knives, attempting to kill people in order to drink their blood, or armed with canteens filled with urine and swinging them in the dark. The hold was so crowded, and everyone so interlocked with one another, that only movement possible was over the heads and bodies of others. But the Japanese hell ships were brutal and barbaric transport methods, in which many prisoners of war suffered greatly, and because of the conditions on board, thousands perished. 
The Japanese were known for their brutality, and the guards on board were also notorious and would beat the prisoners if there was mutiny or threat of rebellion. However, as mentioned, it's believed thousands of Allied prisoners during the Second World War died on board these Japanese ships. The conditions were awful and were shocking, and dehydration, hypothermia, starvation and disease was everywhere. Summary executions and excessive beatings were also common, but as mentioned, the biggest cause of death on these ships was attacks from Allied aircraft and ships. Thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. And once again, thank you so much for watching.